guys doing? It's your girl, Kimmy, a.k.a. 1K Yellow Diamond. How y'all doing? I hope y'all is doing fine and fabulous. And if not, remember, you, 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 you have the key to be happy. Okay? We're going in 2004, so hey, make changes to grab your happiness. Okay? I am making some sliders. I am making some shrimp bacon sliders. And I am making some pulled pork sliders. Yes, I did not cook the meat on camera. Pulled pork. I'm going to give you a little rundown on, for the pulled pork sliders for the meat. Um, get you some um, pork stew. Um, chopped meat. Boil it for about two to three hours. Pull that out the skillet. Saute some, uh, I mean, pull that out the pot. Um, Saute some onions, bell peppers garlic saute in the skillet add the meat and get to seasoning it up add a little barbecue sauce and you're done i already know about to cook the bacon make it crispy crispy bacon this is the um pulled pork meat shrimps i just got through cooking the shrimps and this is the bacon now those would be two different types of um sliders like i said pulled pork barbecue pulled pork sliders and then shrimp and bacon sliders and then I have two cheese. I have sharp cheddar, which I love. And I have pepper jack. Okay, let's get to it. I have Hawaiian, Hawaiian rolls, Sarah Lee. I have my butter and um, garlic. Look at that. Bullock, butter, real butter that is, sweet cream. You know, now you know. <laughs> First, we're going to... Um, add the garlic butter at the bottom of the pan. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Y'all see that? Yeah, a bread knife so you can slice them in half. Slice, slice the rolls in half. Let's <laughs> see, like I'm struggling, baby. I'm struggling. Yeah, I'm going to do each one of these. Crumbs everywhere. This would be nice if I had a sous chef. Because <laughs> I would already had this stuff done. I would have them to do it. To pull a pork, I'm going to stir it up because it's kind of been sitting up a little. And we're going to <laughs> add it to <laughs> the bottom rolls. I think this is gonna make two pans. Yeah. The cheese, please. And while you're preparing the um, sliders, make sure you have your oven preheated to 350. I'm doing cheddar first, and that's all you gotta do. Cause remember, baby, you can cut this later. Then we add the bread on top. It's time to add the butter, garlic butter on top. Ooh, yummy, yum. Real butter, that is. Butter make it fake. The and that's your pulled pork sliders. Now let's work on the bacon shrimp one. I came back with the bread already cut because y'all saw that was a task. But um, with the shrimp sliders, I'm going to do a dentation in the um, sliders because y'all know shrimps is kind of like rumpy bumpy. So I'm just going to press down just a quick little press down on them. So here goes the already cooked shrimps. Make sure your shrimps your meat is cooked fully. Yes, y'all. They already popping five crackers, baby. Ah, eh, ah, eh, ah, ah. <laughs> Let's get back to the program. I'm gonna kind of pull the bacon apart, which is not crispy anymore, but that's okay. I'm glad I didn't cook that other bacon because I had two packages and I was going to um, cook both of them. But my mind was telling me no. So I went with it. 
Go with your mind. Go with your first instinct. Well, my, <laughs> my first instinct was to cook it. So I went with the second one. <laughs> Baby, I think the pepper jack gonna be good. Do we use separate? I'm gonna do these separate because um, I know, like with the pulled pork, I just laid the cheese on, but that would be easier to cut. This I kind of kept everything and on its own bun because y'all know shrimps and stuff get the rolling and pulling oh wait i end up putting i said i was just gonna do half with pepper jack then half with cheddar it gonna be good good that's how that look before we put that top bun on that look good already so let's put the top I'm a top bun. Yeah, call it what you want to be. I think these shrimps and bacon, I think that's going to be good. That's it for the bacon, shrimp, cheddar cheese, and pepper jack. And um, sliders, I'm going to put both of them in the oven for about... For about probably like 10 minutes at 375 because you don't need nothing cooking. You just need the butter to brown and make it look crispy and butter and garlic tasting. And that's it. Let everything marinate. That's it. So 10 minutes, 375. And I'll be back with the finished product all plated up and we're going to try this honey. Here we go, y'all. The finished product. Let me turn around because I got more of the salad, the sides and all that stuff showing. This is the shrimp and bacon sliders. And we have the barbecue pulled pork sliders. So let's try it. I want to try the pulled pork one. And I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying it out. Okay. Let's see. garlic butter I did have a cheese pull earlier when I was good that let me see oh You taste that pulled pork and the barbecue sauce. Mmm. 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 Have some pickles, onions, jalapenos, and tomatoes. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. You almost took me out. Let's try the shrimp. That's the shrimp and bacon with pepper jack. Y'all might hear the firecrackers popping, baby. It's like 7 30 here. It's on and popping. the shrimp I mean I really didn't taste the bacon mm. 
Mm. I'm good. Only thing, like, you know, I'm a saucy girl. Mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, you name it. Ranch. This would be good with, like, some ranch, like a ranch dip, which I probably made, or just a mayo. Mmm. Yeah, to me, the shrimp and bacon will need a sauce. Mmm, mm-mm. Yeah, that was so delicious. Make sure you all try the recipe and let me know how did you like it. This is, like I said, New Year's Eve day. So y'all probably won't get this video until next week sometime. So I hope you all enjoy your New Year's Eve. Bring it in safe. Bring it in blessed. And start off your New Year day, which is tomorrow. Until next time. Bye. Man, I'm home. Man, I'm home. Man, I'm home. Mm -hmm.